Now to another developing story. Eyewitness News has learned of a major break in a mysterious cold case. It involves the disappearance of a Pennsylvania woman. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden is on the story for us. He's at State Police Barracks in Winfield with the new details. Joe, good evening. Yuki, good evening. Lots of developing information flowing out of the state police barracks within the last half hour. They've identified a person of interest in the case, and they've also linked this to a case of a woman who went missing 16 years ago. The remains found locked away inside this Philadelphia storage facility for years are believed to be that of Brenda Jacobs. Numerous law enforcement sources have confirmed that information to CBS 3. Forensic testing will be conducted to make a conclusive link, which could take several weeks. State police say the 37-year-old mother of two from Williamsport disappeared from her home in Lycoming County in north central Pennsylvania in 2003. She had not been seen since. State troopers made the gruesome discovery on Monday at the Frankfurt and Westmoreland Avenues facility. Investigators say a tip earlier this week revived the cold case that had long been dormant. A manager at the storage warehouse declined to comment when we stopped by on Tuesday morning. Happening in the last hour, this man, identified by state police as Jade Babcock, is now being held on an abuse of corpse charge. State police have not revealed the extent of what his involvement may have been. And we're back live. We expect Jade Babcock, that person of interest, and now a suspect in the count of abuse of a corpse, to be walked out of the state police barracks here any moment now. He will be transported uh, to the Karen Fromhold Correctional Facility, where I am told he will be held on that charge as the state police investigation moves forward. That is the very latest reporting live outside state police Belmont Barracks in the Winfield section of Philadelphia. Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, thank you.